Hello everyone and welcome to this uh, second video about uh, HackerRank and uh, we today are going to solve this problem which is called today or to the <laughs> to the array DS so uh, this one is also labeled as an easy problem but um, um, it's slightly more difficult than the last one so let's read the problem definition and try to 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 find a solution to, to this problem so given a six row and six columns array, two-dimensional array, we defined an hourglass. So what is an hourglass? An hourglass is basically um, a subset of values in this array following this pattern right here. So if we consider the first element of the first row of our array, we can define the hourglass of this element here by composing the three elements in, the, in this row, so starting from the element we are considering the other two, so this three here, this element on the next row, second column, and these three elements on the third row, so third row, first, second, and third element of the array. So this is one hourglass, and we need to calculate the sum of each hourglass composing this array. So in this example here, the first hourglass is made by this three minus nine, this minus nine here, and these other three minus nine. The sum of this hour, uh, hourglass here is minus 63. So by considering every hourglass of uh, this array, we need to, um, to, to give an output to our to our solution here so we will we will write a function and uh, compare each sum of um, all the other hourglasses composing this array and then we will give an output the highest value of um, that we have so uh, in this case the the highest value is 28 so this solution will be 28 so let's see our other definitions here so we will have input for input format six lines and our input array we have these constraints here this is really important actually because we know that uh, the, the inside value of this uh, array we will have an input uh, will be will be Let's check also the constraints in this problem because um, this is a really important definition because each element of our array can have a minimum value of minus 9 and a maximum value of, value of 9. This is really important and we will see um, afterwards why this, uh, this matters in this solution. So there's another example, another input and probably the maximum hourglass will be uh, the, the sum related to this one which is 19, I guess, yes. Okay, yeah, it was this one. So basically we need to consider all the possible hourglasses we can build in an array, uh, sum all the elements together, and then compare all the sum together and uh, output the, the, the highest one. So let me just test my drawing skills and try to, to explain it even, even better if I can. For so let's see our array here so we have a six times six array so six columns and six rows and six columns and uh, in order to consider each uh, each hourglass um, that appears in this array we need starting from the first element here we will need to to build first to build to calculate the first sum of the first hourglass so our first hourglass will be this one here so this is the first hourglass and then we will go on and check the second element in the first row. We will calculate this new hourglass here. So this is the second one and uh, so on. So this is the third. I'm just going a little bit quick here, but I think it should be clear. So this is the third one and this is the last one we can consider in the first row. This is the last one because because if we if we go and uh, check this element here and try to calculate this hourglass, we go out of bound on this array. So this is not possible. So we will need to stop. So in the first row, for example, 
we will consider this one, this one, this one, this one. We will build and we will calculate for our glasses sum and we will stop two elements before the end. So the same logic we will apply on uh, considering the, the other rows. So we will go, for example, um, in, in the second row here, the first hourglass and so on. So we will stop here. So this will be our last row to, to consider and the last column will be, of course, here, right? So this is the, the last hourglass we can calculate here. And then we need to, to, to compare all the, the sums we, we calculated and check out which is the greatest one. So we are back now and uh, let's write a function to, to, to solve this problem. So basically we have uh, an input this, this two-dimensional array here and uh, we will need to declare a first result which will be um, the maximum value we will output. So um, before before declaring this value here, um, I said to you before the, that uh, this um, this constraint here is really important because the lowest value we can have inside the array is minus nine. So basically, the the, um, the lowest value of sum of uh, of an hourglass should be minus sixty three because this happens while every um, every each component of of an hourglass is of value minus nine. So this is the case where when we have the, um, the lowest value of a sum. So the sum, the, the result will be in the beginning minus 63. We will need another another value here. We, I'm, I'm using a, a temporary value set to zero. In this value, I will, I will just um, save the the sum while looping through through the two-dimensional array so now we will loop through the array so we will start considering the first the first element here uh, summon the the hourglass related to this element and then i will go here calculate the sum i will go here calculate the sum and i will do the same here of course and then i will go down to to the second row do the same thing for these hourglasses here and check each time I'm going to check if the, the sum of this hourglass is greater than the, the greatest sum we have in this moment while we are calculating this hourglass here. So basically this is um, we need to, to code uh, a nested, a nested uh, for loop here. So we will start from int of course equals zero a minus two. This is important because we will stop well, we are here, right? As we said before. Well, in, in increment i here. And uh, now we're going inside. So we'll do the same things for uh, for the columns here, right? Let's call it. So I forgot an i here. Let's call it j. the same okay so inside this loop here we, we will calculate the the value so we will update this this value here tmp will be our sum so the sum of the hourglass in this position so starting from zero zero and uh, it is the value in i j plus the value in i j plus one plus the value in i j plus two so this is the these are the four three elements of uh, the row zero and we will add position i plus one so we will go sorry position so this is a row so position i plus one and column j plus one plus we will go down again now so a i plus two j plus here it is j plus one and the last element 
is this one here. Plus two and J plus two, of course. So now that we have this sum here, we need to check if it's greater or not than res. So if it's if TMP is greater than res, then we will need to update the res value. So res equals TMP. Of course, there are um, other better solutions to this problem, but let's see if this works here. Let me just check. So ij j plus one, okay. I i plus one j plus one okay this should work let me just try to run the code here so i, I got a an error before but let me just check it now we have a compilation error because missing return statement of course of course if we check here the value so this function need uh, this function needs an, uh, an integer, a return value, and we didn't return so, uh, any value. So return res. Let's check it now. Okay, so this passes this uh, three basic um, basic test cases. Let's check other test cases. Okay, uh, this seemed to work. Uh, thank you for watching and um, feel free to comment if you want, subscribe and let me know if you like this kind of con content and I'm trying to, to be consistent in solving these problems and uh, explaining to you in the, most, um, in the most clear way I can. So thank you for watching again.